Yo, what's up? I got a new Max for Live utility device. This is called MIDI Bounce, and it's very easily and quickly allows you to print MIDI effects to a new MIDI clip. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I have a MIDI clip, and I have this expressive chords and the step up changing these single notes to this. Right, so now we obviously don't see what the actual notes are because the MIDI effects are doing it in real time. But let's say I want to print these MIDI effects into the MIDI clip, I will have to open up a new track, set the routing from the track I want to print, record, and record. Here we go. Right, so we have a Max Volar device now called MIDI Bounce. Let me load it up. And I'm going to select just this clip and hit Bounce. It's going to open up a new MIDI track, going to record it at the right length. Let's let it record. Stop the recording, now we can stop it. And now I can move this MIDI clip back to this track. I don't need this track anymore. And I can also turn off my MIDI effects because we printed the actual MIDI effects into the MIDI clip. We'll get the same thing. Now we can continue and adjust and do whatever uh, variations we want. So that's great. Now in the session view, let's turn our back on the MIDI effects. Let's move this to the session. In the session, you see as we switch to the session, we also have this delete temp option. If I turn delete temp, now it's going to do the same thing in the session, but it's also going to move the clip back to the original track and delete the temporary track. There you go. So now we can turn off the MIDI effects and have our printed MIDI clip ready to go. I wish Ableton will add this feature in the future. Until then, MIDI bounce, grab it for my Gumroad, or if you have the composition power tools full pack, which includes over a hundred racks, it's also included there. Just check your email, you should see it, or check your Gumroad account. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.